the crypto space could crash even further after FTX announced its bankruptcy. SPF, the former CEO, was looking to raise fresh funds to bail out the company, but that has most likely failed. Similar to Celsius and Voyager, the entire FTX group, with its whopping 130 affiliated companies, will be filing for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. This even includes FTX US, which SPF previously mentioned that it was still operational, but it has started to pause withdrawals as well. In a recent interview with Bloomberg, Justin Sun said that he had billions he could use to bail out FTX. However, this is still quite uncertain, especially since FTX has now filed for Chapter 11. A previous deal was struck between FTX and the Tron Foundation, where users could withdraw these five tokens that were part of the Tron ecosystem. With this bankruptcy, it is rather uncertain if this deal will continue to hold. I covered more about this deal in my previous video, and if any of you were able to withdraw your tokens via this method, please do let all of us know in the comments below. So what does this Chapter 11 actually mean for FTX? Based on my understanding, FTX will be given some time to reorganize organize all of their funds so that they can pay back the creditors that they've borrowed from. Essentially, all your funds will be locked up at this point in time. Although SPF mentioned that they'll be prioritizing their users, a lot of things are still very uncertain right now. If we reference the previous incident of Mt. Gox, it took almost 8 years before their customers could recover all of the Bitcoin that they lost. As a result, it may take at least a few years before you'll be able to see some of your funds. And that is also not guaranteed. Things are also not looking good for companies that are within FTX's and Alameda's portfolio. Both of them have invested in at least 250 crypto startups. The most concerning one is Solana, where the leaked balance sheet by Coindesk showed that majority of Alameda's assets were in the form of the Solana tokens. Some of these tokens are still currently locked up and Alameda won't be able to sell them. However, they still control a huge amount of these sold tokens and if they are looking to raise funds to pay back their creditors, this could lead to a huge sell-off of all of these SOL tokens. This may result in a huge crash in Solana's price. Some other companies in the portfolio that caught my eye include the Near Protocol, Polygon, and One Inch. It is very possible that all of these tokens could also experience a huge crash in their price. If you still have funds on a centralized platform, I would strongly urge you to withdraw all of your funds as soon as possible. Based on the previous crashes of Terra, Celsius, and 3AC, the crypto world is extremely interconnected. FTX and Alameda both have huge influences within the crypto industry, and any company that has exposure to them could crash as well. Most centralized exchanges are now scrambling to produce a proof of assets, which aims to show that all users' assets are back one as to one with the funds that they have in their wallets. However, we can never know for sure unless a full audit is being done on the exchanger's assets. As the saying goes, not your keys, not your crypto. If you do not have access to your private keys, you essentially do not own any of the digital assets you have in your wallet. I would strongly urge you to create a non-custodial wallet and send all of your funds over. There are many different types of wallets that you can choose from and some of the more prominent names will include Metamask, Trust Wallet and Exodus Wallet. If the concept of non-custodial wallets and private keys are new to you, do let me know in the comments what assets you own. I'll help you to recommend the best wallet you can use and how you can transfer your funds to this wallet. If there are any more updates to this FTX crisis, I'll link to that video over here. In any case, I hope that all of you would stay safe and stay strong during this extremely tough period.